need to stick together. We need to uplift one another. We need to raise one another and empower one another. And I'm going to sing this song for you and your day. Rise up. Broken down
to everyone who was with us last year, welcome back. Um, if you were with us last year, you might know, my name's Emily Cooper Morse. Um, this is my daughter, Izzy. I founded the Women's March on Philadelphia last year. We were the first sister march to the Women's March on DC, and I wanted to create something in solidarity to the march in DC, but that was uniquely for the women in Philly and their allies. I am an ordinary person. President Obama said time and time again that change can only happen when ordinary people get involved. Amen. I don't do this for a living, um, and I am an ordinary person, and um, so I apologize if I seem a little nervous, because I'm an ordinary person. I don't do this for a living. <laughs> 2017 has been an indescribable year. On this stage one year ago, I shared widely for the first time ever that I am a survivor of sexual assault. I truly believe that the global movement that was the Women's March was the ca catalyst for movements like Me Too to become nationally known again after Tarana Burke founded it over 10 years ago. which ultimately led to the Time's Up movement that we're now experiencing. Anyone here today who is still holding their story close to them, who has endured harassment, assault, or rape, please know you are not alone. We believe you. We are here for you. We came here last year in need of solidarity. That solidarity has grown into a movement. Today, we are here to stand together once again to show the world that women are strong, we persevere, yes. we do not give up, yes. and that is especially true in Philadelphia. Yes. Yes. Today, we resist we persist, we rise. Yeah. So I'd briefly like to share with you the mission statement that the planning team of this entire march put together. We resist, we stand against those in our country and society who seek to divide us and stifle the diversity that makes our nation great. We will no longer allow the rights and interests of women and those who identify as women in mind, body, or spirit, it, or spirit to be disregarded. We persist. Yes. One year after the largest demonstration in the history of the world, we continue to speak up and remind everyone we will not be silenced. Nice. will be there in the streets, in the halls of Congress, outside the, outside the White House. We will march, we will rally, and we will organize yes. in our communities. Yes. We will call out those who try to intimidate us. Yes. We will jam the phone lines, we will write postcards, we will connect on social media with others of like mind. We will work to get out the vote, and we will be there at the polls to see change happen. We will continue our fight. We rise. For the second year, we come together in solidarity at the Women's March on Philadelphia and at marches around the world to reiterate our message. We hold our elected officials accountable. Yes. Absolutely. Absolutely. We are fighting for women's rights, especially in communities marginalized the most. We are creating we are creating our own space to have a voice in decisions that affect our everyday lives. We believe in our ability to create change because together we are powerful and this movement is strong. We are rising, fearless, and unapologetic. That's right, that's right. 
we are running for the very offices held by those who have tried to keep us down. We are taking our seats at the table. Yes! Yes! And my last statement is, is that this doesn't all happen overnight. We have a huge team. We have the city of, Bank of Philadelphia to thank. And we also had several large donors that help us, helped us in our hour of need to be able to afford the stage and the microphone and the, and the sound system. So a couple of them have written brief statements. Connie Cohn. Connie is thrilled to support the march again this year in honor of Helen and Eleanor. She says that the ever-increasing number of women who now feel empowered to go into politics, to support nonprofits, to work in the community, to make their now magnified voices heard is worth every penny. And Patricia West says, you can say this in the name of the women on, the, on whose shoulders we stand to be here. The women of color who fought when many of us were experiencing white privilege. On some issues, but when all of us have experienced the Me Too moments. We did not know how to fight about that successfully until now. We are evidence of a work in progress. Robin Mann says, thank you for all your hard work to make this year's march all we need it to be. I don't think I have the eloquence necessary. Me too, Robin, don't worry about it. Um, <laughs> and we give what we can. Money is one thing I have the opportunity to give. I will just say that I am motivated very much by the desire to pass on a fairer, more just and humane world and a more livable planet to my grandkids. So much to do. Good luck. And lastly, Holly Kinzer says, my donation is for all the girls and women in this country, this commonwealth, and this city, from the dreamers to my own 13-year-old daughter. Don't be shy to use your voice to protect and empower women, immigrants, and children who deserve health insurance. Cast your vote. March, register, contribute, and vote. May we all continue to persist, rise up, and be heard. Go Eagles. <laughs> and now I will stop talking. It is my absolute pleasure to introduce a very close friend, my teammate, Salima Suswell. Different mentality today. It seems hard. It seems it seems challenging. I don't say hard because the only thing hard is the concrete that we walk on. Everything else is a challenge. So so I'm ready. I'm ready for this challenge. And I was built. I was built for this. I think that I think we all we all have a purpose in life. And mine and mine is going to take on a task that most that most of Back away, back from, away from, from that impossible, that people, people say it's impossible, I see how.